When Like a Dragon Ishin was released in 2023, it was a remake version of the same game originally released in 2014. While it was and wasn't like the main Yakuza timeline, it was still an enjoyable experience for the gamers who play the Ryuga Kotoku installments. But one particular detail of the experience was mentioned numerous times throughout the game, the Tenen Rishin style which was a pivotal aspect of the the game's story. But the speculative scenario is this. What exactly was the Tenen Rishin sword style from Ishin? While specific details about the particular style of swordplay weren't truly mentioned, initial claims of it were that it was the end result of various combat styles from a rural and isolated region of the Japanese countryside. Farmers and peasants devised different methods of combat to protect their livelihoods, their homes, and one another from bandits, ronin, or other forces that would cause them harm, or even death. In terms of actual swordplay, Tenen Rishin was a combination of sword postures, sword techniques, sword tactics, and finally sword ideologies of the region. However, due to the peasantry being based background of Tenen Rishin, the style of swordplay wasn't well received by others outside the farm-based communities. On the style, as a result, wasn't necessarily taught to many able-bodied men. According to dialogue in the game, the style never had more than a few dozen individuals at any given time, and there were always fears that the unique style might become extinct due to not having enough practitioners in either being knowledgeable in the art or even teaching the art, let alone Tenen Rishin ever being a well-grasped method of swordplay in a wider sense when in comparison to other Japanese sword arts of the time. What made the method of swordplay unusually effective was a combination of the rural-based ideologies that created the particular method of swordplay on the lack of social awareness of other swordsmen, communities, or even popular consensus of Tenen Rishin due to it being such an obscure method of Japanese swordsmanship. Further dialogue mentioned that the few times a Tenen Rishin user actually fought against another swordsman, they said swordsmen would be at a loss of disadvantage due to their lack of the sword combat knowledge that is Tenen Rishin. Due to this particular reason, the sword art slowly became the preferred technique of ninjas and assassins, once again due to the lack of knowledge on how to properly defend or even counter against Tenen Rishin techniques or even Tenen Rishin practitioners. Eventually, the method of combat would become the preferred style of swordplay among the Shinzengumi depicted in Ishin, with the sword art being taught to officers of the organization to help increase the numbers of men who knew the method of sword combat, and to publicly display the lethal aspects of Tenen Rishin to all. In particular, the most distinctive or visual detail of the stones is that the user would enter the swordplay posture and use their dominant arm to hold the sword up in a a slightly bent way while pressing their weaker hand open on flawed against the hilt of their sword. From dialogue further mentioned still in Yakuza 0, Tenen Rishin eventually became a somewhat lost or forgotten martial art of swordplay due to technology, specifically guns on western methods of warfare, that essentially made Tenen Rishin an obsolete sword art and was only known by a select group of individuals who practiced the swordplay but mostly the those who knew of it were scholars. Plenty of details from Ishin were actually based on historical people, events, times, and situations from Japanese history. These details, of course, were modified to correlate with people, events, times, and situations from the Yakuza timeline of the time when the video game was released in 2023.